Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this one I'm going to show you how to make a net adjustment in payroll. So I posted a similar video, uh, would be a month or two ago. You'll be able to find that if you look at our channel and our listed videos about how you can fix up an error in payroll by reversing it out and then reposting. What I'm gonna show you here is an alternative method that some people may prefer. And instead of reversing out the payroll and reposting the correct figures, what we will do is just post a secondary payroll for the adjustment. If we need to bump it up or we need to bump it down, we're just gonna fix it all in one adjustment post. So let's go to the payroll section here. We'll go payroll, pay employees, and we'll have a look at the most recent payroll here for the week ending 14th of December. And we'll have a look at Odette Garrison. So Odette was paid $1,008, there was $180 tax and $90 super. Let's say that she actually got a pay rise and it should have been reflected in this payroll, but it was not. So now we have to post an adjustment. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right click and duplicate to open up a new screen. We are first going to go and update her pay rate in her employee file. So we'll go payroll, employees. This can be done before or after, but you should do it at some stage because this will default into all future payroll postings. So we'll click on Odette here, and then we'll go to pay template. We'll change her rate from 22 to the new rate. Let's say she got a pay rise to 22.50 per hour. We'll save that. And now we'll go back to the payroll section. So payroll and then pay employees. What we wanna do next is we want to see what a normal payroll will be for Odette on her current rate, on her new rate of 22.50 per hour. So let's go add pay run. We'll go unscheduled. She's on the weekly calendar and we'll do it for the next week after the one that was posted which was 14th of December so we'll go find that week ending 21st of December we'll click into her file here and she worked 48 hours so we'll update that 48 hours she didn't get a bonus there was none of this other stuff it was just the ordinary hours here. Okay, so what we need to do is work out the difference between what was posted here and what should have been posted and post one adjustment payroll for that difference. So to do that, I mean, you can do this on pen and paper, however you like, but we're gonna do it in Excel. And we'll say here, um, We'll set up some headers here. So this will be the gross wage, tax, super, net. Payroll one is what has already been posted. Payroll two is what it should have been. So we'll go have a look at the first payroll. She had 1,008 here. There was 180 tax. There was 90, 72 of super. And the net was 828. I'm going to click this comma button here so that we can see all decimal places. There we go. Now let's look at what it should have been on the new rate. She should have got 1080, the tax should have been 169, which is interesting. You would expect the tax rate to be higher than what it was, but for the sake of this example, we won't get into that. Super should have been 9720 and the net should have been 911. 
Now let's click in here and we'll go equals. We'll click on the cell for what should have been posted minus what was posted. Enter. We'll drag that out. So we can see we need to bump up the pay by $72. We need to decrease the tax by 11. We need to increase the super by 648 and we need to increase the net by 83. As we said just before, you would normally expect the adjustment on the tax to be a positive figure because her pay has increased, so there should be higher tax. But this is what the system is telling us. So for this example, this is what we will do. So this is the adjustment here. This is what we need to post. Let's go back to payroll here. And we're going to go delete this. And we're going to delete this draft. The reason why we can't just post it in here is because we did this for the week following the week that was already done. The reason we did it for the week ending the 21st instead of the week ending the 14th, we wanted to see what the regular tax would be in a regular week. If we did the test run into the week ending for the 14th, because she's already been paid, we wouldn't have got a fair representation of what the tax should have been. But for the adjustment, we will post it into the week ending the 14th. So let's just delete this pay run first. And we're going to go add pay run. And it has to be an unscheduled because we already posted the week ending the 14th. So we can't post, we can't use the calendar to post into the same period. Week ending 14th of December, next. You would set the payment date accordingly. We'll get rid of these lines here that we're not using. So you've got a couple of ways of doing this. You can put in the, like just a one hour, one unit of 72, or you could put in 35 units of $1.50, which is the difference between 22.50 and 21. For this example, we'll just put in the gross adjustment, $72. What you do have to be careful of, we don't need that. What you do have to be careful of is that we don't want to accrue additional leave because she already accrued her leave on the previous payroll. If we accrue again, which is for that one hour that we put in, we will be double counting her annual leave. So we need to get rid of that. Now the pay as you go, we need to type something in here. So I'll just type adjust back to the spreadsheet. That needs to be a minus 11 because we need to bring the tax from 180 down to 169. And as you can see, the net pay has gone up to 83, even though we only paid gross 72. The super should be 648, which it is. We don't need to do anything there. If the 648 wasn't the figure that we wanted, we could have added a new line clicked on fixed amount and put in 648. Of course, you would have deleted this other line that you wouldn't have needed, but we don't need to because it pre-populated to the figure that we wanted, $6.48. The net should be 83, so we'll check that as it is 83. And that looks good, so we're going to go save. We'll click back to the main screen. Just have a double check here, earnings 72, tax minus 11, super 648, net 83. And we'll post it. So that is how you do a correction in a single posting without having to reverse anything out and then do another posting. So you're fixing it in one step instead of two steps as you would have to do if you reversed out the initial posting. I'll say again, it is a bit of a funny example with the tax coming out as a negative. You would normally expect that to be a positive, but still, it's a good example in the fact that adjustments can go either way, and sometimes you will need to bump things down and bump things up. If you need to bump it down, then you'll need to do a negative. So that's how you do it. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to book in a training session for anything zero, mild, any kinds of accounting software, Excel, all of this stuff, head over to qtraining.net.au. You can book in a training session there. We offer 30-minute and 60-minute 
online training sessions through Zoom or any other kind of video conferencing software. We can help you to do whatever you need to do, whether it's for your job, uh, training up for a new job. We work with a lot of business owners who do their books in-house, but every now and then they come across tricky little problems that they'd like assistance with. That's where we jump in and show you how to do it. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.